This is an example of how to use a vacuum cleaner correctly and also to avoid any slips, trips and falls. All vacuum cleaners and electrical equipment should be clearly pat tested and the sign should be visible and also should be um, labelled up if it belongs to the cleaning company. It should have a label on it because that way then you know who is responsible for maintaining that piece of equipment. So when using a vacuum cleaner, I have my friend Henry here to show me uh, as an example. We always run the cable through our hands to ensure that there is no breakages in that cable. If we do find any breakages in the cable, we do not use the vacuum cleaner because it is dangerous and could cause an electric shock. We always ensure that all the cable is taken out of the vacuum cleaner. We don't leave any cable inside because it could cause it to overheat and become damaged. And also you don't want to be running cables behind you as you're vacuuming. So I'll take all of this out here. So that's all out and it's all safe. There's no breakages in this cable. We also ensure, in this example, we have a high level plug socket. Sometimes it's low level, sometimes it's high. In this example, it's obviously a high one. So you would always plug the vacuum cleaner in and make sure that the plug is switched off prior to plugging it in. You can then plug, switch the plug on and run the cable down. Now in this case, I'm going to run it straight down to the floor and we're going to ensure that it runs across the floor in a safe way so that the cable is flat at all times. You will get some kinks in the cable, unfortunately, but that is why we use this sign to clearly identify that there is cleaning in progress to ensure that anybody that's walking in this direction or from behind me can clearly see that there is a cable there and that is a trip hazard. We then obviously would vacuum, ensuring that the cable is flat on the floor at all times behind us.